Hey there, it's Kaylin. Thanks so much for visiting my channel today. And I'm excited to bring you day two of the 30 day series called Balance. So throughout this series, we're gonna be finding balance between strength and mobility. So these are two things we should be working on uh, on a regular basis. So throughout this series, uh, we're gonna find a balance between those two throughout the workout. So today's workout specifically is gonna be on strengthening the and firing up our core, our center, uh, which is a very, a fundamental piece of our Pilates work. So, but we're gonna find that mobility as well. And we're gonna start with some mobility first because it's always important to loosen and mobilize the body before we get started. Otherwise, we're gonna feel too tight. We're not gonna find that optimal range of motion. So I want you to find a blanket or a towel that you can sit on. I'm on a blanket here. And I want you to sit in a, um, just a cross-legged position if that's comfortable. You can always come to a chair as well if sitting like this is not, not great. So sitting up nice and tall, we're gonna find a seated cat and cow. So we're gonna take an inhale as we start to open the chest forward, arch the back, lift through the heart and chest, looking up towards the ceiling. And then exhale, we're gonna round the spine. So we're gonna pull the belly button back, drop the head. And we're gonna come through center as we inhale to lift, arching that back, and then exhale to round. Again, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, round. One more here, inhale, lift. And exhale, round. Okay, now we just start to move into some nice big body circles here, our body rolls. So we're getting some side to side motion, front to back, and really find that expansion here as you come forward. So really open that heart and chest, and then exhale, scoop the belly as you come back. Let's do one more in this direction. And then go ahead and bring it opposite direction now. Good, just feel really nice. Starting to move that spine in all kinds of different ways. <sighs> Loosening up those muscles around the core too, right? So we're gonna work those, but if you're tight in your lower back or your sides, it's gonna limit what you can do. So we always wanna try to maximize our range. All right, so go ahead and sit up nice and tall. We're just gonna do some side bends here, side to side. Good, moving one to the other, just flowing. And this is a beautiful way to stretch that side body and usually can feel that a lot into that lower back as well, which can be really tight for a lot of people and really limiting for a lot of movements. So opening, loosening, lengthening is always a great way to get started. All right, last one each side. And then we're gonna get into more of our abdominal strengthening and stability. So I want you to go ahead and come off of your blanket. We're gonna place it off to the side. If you're in a chair, go ahead and meet us down on the mat. And you're gonna to come to a seated position facing the end of your mat. Make sure you have enough space behind you to roll down. We're gonna do some seated roll downs here, okay? So hands can start either behind the thighs if you need a little extra assistance or arms can be forward here. We're gonna find that tall spine here, inhale at the top. Exhale, tuck that tailbone under, roll it down. So we're coming one bone at a time down onto the floor. Inhale, the arms can lengthen back behind you. And then exhale, we're gonna reverse that. So chin to chest, we're gonna roll it up. You can bring the hands behind the thighs if you need that extra help. And then inhale, lift up nice and tall. Exhale, bring it back, scoop the belly. Bone by bone, find that control as you come down. So try not to just kind of thump down really quickly, really find that control. That's gonna be that abdominal work. And lift. Good, and again, exhale, scoop. So you're really deepening that core center here with that round spine and that low back is that first to come down. Good, all the way, inhale, arms back. Exhale, chin to chest. Deep in that exhale, that's gonna really help engage those abs as you lift up. And again, exhale, bring it down. We just have one more after this. 
Inhale, arms back. Exhale, chin to chest. Peel and lift. All right, we're gonna roll it all the way down. And this time I want you to stay onto your back. So go ahead and bring it down. Stay here, bring your arms down by your sides. And I want you to bring your legs up to a tabletop position. So legs are gonna come up to tabletop, knees over the hips. I want you to keep your back ribs pressing down. We're gonna do double leg toe taps here. So we're gonna inhale as we start to reach the legs away towards the floor, tap them down. Exhale, lift it back up. So legs stay in 90 degrees. This is too hard with both legs. Just do a single alternating leg. Good, inhale, tap. Exhale, lift. Good, inhale. Exhale, don't let that back arch. Good, two more here. Good, firing up that core. I feel, should feel the whole front abs here, but definitely starting to really kick into those lower abdominals. Good, last one. Legs are gonna come back up to that tabletop position. All right, we're gonna do ab curls. So arms up towards the ceiling, inhaling here. Exhale, head, neck, and chest lift as the arms come down by the sides. Inhale, lower. Exhale. Good, and lower. So just that lift from the rib cage, head, neck, chest, shoulders. Good, exhale. Inhale, lower. Good, two more. Last one. Good, and lower. Good, pull the knees into the chest for just a moment. Just rock the hips here side to side. Just massage out that low back. So if you never need to stop for a moment, you can come to this position, just rocking the hips and then get right back into it. So we are gonna move on to our single leg stretch. So I want you to lift up into your abdominal curl. You're gonna hold that ab curl position, pull right leg into chest, hands on top of that right shin, and then we switch legs, we switch. That's it. You can always do this with the head down. If that's the case, just make sure your legs aren't going too low so you're not arching that back. Good. If you can, hold that ab curl. Good, let's do three, two. You got it, last one. Good, bend the knees in, lower it all the way down. All right, double leg stretch is next. So same setup, you're gonna keep your legs in tabletop. Lift up into that ab curl position. This time's hands on top of both knees. This time I want you to pull both knees in towards your chest. Then we're gonna inhale, send arms and legs out opposite directions, reach along. Exhale, circle the arms around, bring the legs in. Good, inhale, reach, extend. Exhale, in. Good, inhale. Exhale. Three more. Last two. Last one. Lower everything all the way down. We're gonna do that hip rock here, side to side. Nice job. All right, got those abs fired up. We're gonna place both feet on the floor and we're gonna do a little bit of core work here, but we're gonna work the entire core cylinder. So getting into the backside as well with bridging. So feet, walking those feet in towards your glutes. Legs are in parallel, arms are pressing into the floor. We're gonna do flat back bridge today. So with a flat back hinging at the hips, we use the glutes to press those hips up. We lift and then we lower just to tap the hips down and then we go right back up. So you're never fully releasing the body. So we lower to tap and lift. So in Pilates, our core is also our glutes our backside, our shoulders. It's this whole cylinder from the pelvis all the way up to the shoulders. So this is starting to work that backside here as well. Good, squeezing the glutes to lift. Let's do four more. Four, that's it. Three, just two more. Two, and last one. Hold it at the top here. We're gonna do just a little single leg marching just to wake up those glutes a little bit more. So right leg is gonna come up to tabletop. We place it down and then left leg comes up. I want you to make sure that you're keeping those hips nice and steady and stable. And that comes with that engagement of that standing glute leg. So if you feel your hips tipping to one side, 
really press the glutes up even a little bit more. You got it, last one. And then place the feet down. This time I want you to roll the spine down nice and slow, one vertebrae at a time. Low back will release. Good, pelvis releases, beautiful. All right, keep your left foot on the floor. We're gonna bring our right leg in towards our chest. Right, wrap your hand behind that right thigh and extend that leg up to the ceiling. I just want you to point and flex the ankle. You should probably feel a nice stretch in your calf and your Achilles and just maybe some crunching and loosening of that ankle joint. We often don't spend enough time working on our feet. Now go ahead and move it into a circle, moving that foot in one direction and then the other. So let's also stretch out the hamstring as well. If you're super tight there, you probably feel that. All right, go ahead and bend that knee, place it down. We're gonna switch it to the other side. Left leg pulls in, extend it up, point and flex. I usually notice I get a lot of cracks and crunches when I first start this, which means I need it. I need to loosen up those ankles. All right, find those circles now, starting in one direction. Good, and then the other. Awesome. And then go ahead and bend that knee, place it on the mat. Beautiful. All right, we are going to take a quick break. I just want you to grab a sip of water, but we have more core work to do. So I will meet you right back here in just a moment. We're gonna come into our all fours position next. So onto the hands and knees. And have those wrists right underneath the shoulders, the knees right underneath the hips. So we're gonna start with some big circles of the uh, torso. So I want you to start to just move your body into a nice big circle. So you're feeling that stretch on all sides of the body, that mobility, similar to what we experienced at the beginning with that seated cat and cow. And then go ahead and reverse that direction now. So circling other way, let your head move in the direction of your spine as well. Should feel really, really nice. Lots of great mobility work here. Good, one more. And I'll go ahead and find that nice flat back here. So neutral spine from knee to nose. All right, we're gonna do an opposite arm leg reach. We're gonna alternate first and then we'll, we'll Keep one side. All right, so with a flat back, don't let the hips twist or the torso twist. Right arm's gonna go forward, left leg is gonna go back, reaching, lengthening. So pull the core in so you're not arching that back. Use your glute to lift that leg. Use the back of the shoulder or the back of the arm to lift that arm. And then lower that side down. We're gonna switch to the other side. Reach it long, extend. Good, and bring it down. Good, keep alternating, reach. Good, and lower. So this whole time that pelvis is in a neutral position, so you're, if you had a cup of coffee there or whatever your favorite <laughs> drink or snack is, just imagine it's there and you don't wanna tip it or spill it because otherwise you'll lose it. So keep that nice flat pelvis. Let's do one more each side. And then we're gonna hold that single side and do some work there. So go ahead and bring right arm forward, left leg back. I want you to hold this position here, nice and long. Now draw your left shoulder down your back to connect to your ribs. Take an inhale here. Now we're gonna exhale, we're gonna round knee to elbow. Inhale, reach, long extend. Exhale, round. Good, inhale, reach, extend. Beautiful, exhale around, scooping that belly in and up, rounding your spine. Two more, inhale, exhale. Good, last one. Exhale, round. Good, inhale, extend one more time. Lower that side down. We're gonna switch other side. Left arm, right leg. Good, right shoulder blade down the back. Inhale here, exhale around, bring everything under. Inhale, extend it out. Exhale, round. Good, inhale, reach. 
Good. When you're rounding, really think of lifting your belly in and up, exhaling all that air out. That's going to help engage that core, engage that abdo those abdominals even more. Two more. Last one. Good. Inhale, extend it out one more time. Lower the hands and the leg all the way down. Nice work. All right. We are going to move into a um, some forearm planking. So we're going to start with side forearm plank. So I want you to take your right forearm down to the mat, and then you're going to turn the arm so that is parallel with the top of the mat, or sorry, that forearm. You're going to come onto your side, and you have a couple options here. You can either do kneeling forearm plank, so staying on the knees, hips pressed forward, or come into that full side plank, okay? So you can either have one foot in front of the other or stacking the feet. That is gonna be the most challenging here. So really slide that bottom shoulder down your back. Make sure shoulders are stacked, hips are stacked here. Squeeze the glutes to open the hips and pressing the hips forward a little bit more. Good, if you wanna hold here, hold there. Otherwise, if you want a little extra challenge, go ahead and hold that top leg. Good, we have five, four, three, two, one. Don't let, let those hips drop. Lower that leg down. And then we go ahead and bring it all the way down back to center. We're going to switch to the other side. So same thing, opposite side, opposite arm. <clears throat> nice stabilizing work, not um, in this arm and then also in your core. So we're finding that core strength and stability, and this upper body, upper body strength and stability as well here. So shoulder sliding down the back, hip shoulder stacked. Good, either hold here, knees down or up, or maybe lift that leg for extra challenge. We have five, four, three, two, one, lower that foot down, beautiful job. And then go ahead and bring it back forward onto both forearms now. So now we're gonna do our front forearm plank. So on both forearms, shoulders right over those elbows, slide the shoulders down. Connect to your core first. Now, either stay on your knees or send both feet back. Good, lengthening that lower back here. Good, core's pulling in, glutes engaged. Back of the neck is nice and long. Beautiful job. We have five, four, three, two, and one. Now stay here on the forearms. Lift the hips. Walk the feet in just a little bit. Your head should be dropping down between the upper arms. Now what I want you to do is start to sink your chest towards your thighs. It's not going to get close. That's okay. But what that's going to do is send your shoulders down your back and your chest forward through your arms a little bit more. I just want you to just breathe here. This is great um, strength work for the upper body, but it's also a good stretch for the lower body, hamstrings, calves as well. Also a good way to get those shoulders moving down and back. Good. Do one more breath here. Good, now drop your knees, lowering them all the way down. Beautiful job. All right, come onto your hands now. You can be on finger, I'm sorry, on toes or on knees. because so we're gonna lower ourselves all the way to the floor from our plank position. So find your plank first. And then when you're ready, start to slowly lower yourself all the way down. We are coming all the way down to the mat. Once you're there, go ahead and release bringing the tops of your feet down. We're gonna take hands underneath the shoulders, forehead on the mat. We're gonna find some spinal extension. This is still working our core, our backside, but also getting some mobility, some spine extension, some nice lift there. So when you're ready, we're gonna press the hips into the floor, pull the belly in and up, engage your glutes. On your inhale, press down into your hands as you lift that upper body up into our swan. So this is not a super high position here. Shoulders are hugging the back. Elbows are hugging your sides. And then we lower all the way back down. So good for 
for posture and alignment. When you're ready, press into those hands again. Engage the glutes, pull the belly in, lifting just that upper body. Core's engaged this whole time, and then lower it all the way down. Good, two more. Shoulders down and back, press into those hands, pull the belly in and up, and then you lift. So you've got stability, right, in that lower body, stability in the arms, and you've got some nice mobility here in that upper body. Good, last one, press into those hands. We lift and lengthen. Good, shoulders back and down. Don't crank that neck back, keep that head in line, and then lower it all the way back down. Nice work. All right, we're gonna come into a child's pose. So press yourself back with your knees wide, feet together. Go ahead and breathe here, inhaling. And exhale, sinking the chest down a little farther. Good, again, inhale. Exhale. Good, on your last exhale, I want you to start to sit onto your heels as you stack your spine all the way back up. Now go ahead and grab your blanket. We're gonna get a butterfly stretch to finish. So similar to what we started, but this time we're gonna bring the soles of the feet together and the knees wide. So as you're sitting down, go ahead and bring those feet together. Sit up nice and tall, draw the shoulders down and back. I want you to start to hinge forward at the hips. So leaning forward, finding that nice flat back first. And then eventually you'll go ahead and bring the upper body forward. Maybe the forearms come to the floor. And just take two deep breaths here. Good, deep breath in. Deep breath out. You can start to stack the spine back on top of the hips and then just come to a comfortable seated position. Let's take one more deep breath, arms reaching out and up, inhaling. Good, exhale, float those arms down, spine stays long. Thank you guys so much. Hope you enjoyed that core firing class. So lots of good core work there, but also lots of good mobility. So combining those two, um, hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. If you're interested in checking out some more, I'm going to link a couple videos here as well that I think you'd enjoy. Um, otherwise, I hope you have a great rest of your day and I look forward to seeing you back here on the mat next time. Take care.